Do you know that a large caramel popcorn at the movies can wreck up to 1,800 calories? That's almost your entire calorie allowance in a day. And most of the time, we tend to have it with soft drinks. So you'll just snack away and sip away. That's a killer to your waistline and also all the efforts you've put into the gym. But here's the good news. Popcorn can be a great low-calorie snack option. One cup of plain air pop popcorn only has 31 calories, and you can choose to flavor it how you like it. Popcorn is a whole grain, which means it's a great source of dietary fiber. It is also fat-free, sugar-free, and gluten-free. So it is definitely a much healthier option in comparison to nachos, pretzels, or chips which tends to be higher in sodium. It is really simple to make stovetop popcorn. But follow these steps carefully. Trust me, you'll get really excited making it. Add two tablespoons of oil into a large and deep pot. I used coconut oil. Then turn the heat up to high and add two to three kernels of popcorn. Cover the pot and wait for those kernels to pop. Once they have popped, the oil is hot enough. Add in half a cup of popcorn kernels. Cover and give it a swirl to coat the kernels evenly in hot oil. You'll start to hear the popcorn popping. Slowly at first, then crazy fast. It's really exciting. Give the pot a good shake every now and then to avoid the popcorn from burning. Once the popping has slowed down to nearly a stop, Turn off the heat, wait for a few extra seconds for the last few pops, remove the lid and allow the popcorn to cool down. This makes about 12 cups of popcorn. Here's the fun part, we're going to flavour our popcorn six ways. Each recipe makes eight cups of popcorn. First, salted chocolate popcorn. Add a pinch of salt and drizzle with 50 grams of melted dark chocolate. Mix until well coated. Each cup only has about 87 calories. Peanut butter popcorn. Add a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and quarter cup of peanut butter. Again, mix until well coated. Each cup has about 115 calories. For an Asian twist, try this sesame seaweed popcorn. Add one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons of sesame seeds, and two sheets of crumbled nori seaweed. Mix it up. Each cup has about 85 calories. Let's make matcha green tea popcorn. Add a pinch of salt and one tablespoon of matcha powder mixture. Mix it up. Each cup has about 70 calories and you'll be gaining all the benefits from matcha. If you like your spices, then make this next recipe. Coconut curry popcorn. Add one tablespoon of curry powder and about quarter cup of desiccated coconut. Keep mixing. Each cup has about 71 calories. And finally, my favorite granola popcorn. Add half a cup of homemade granola, a pinch of salt, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Combine all the ingredients. This makes a really great high energy snack and each cup has about 117 calories. Popcorn can be a healthy snack option, so make your own. These are just a few of my favorite flavors. You can flavor your popcorn how you like it. So experiment with different flavors and let me know which is your favorite in the comments below. Don't forget to tag me at Official and hashtag JasonRecipes. Be sure to like this video, share this recipe on and subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more healthy recipes and also workout videos. Guys, don't forget to turn on your notification button so that you will get notified every time I share a new video. All the best and enjoy your healthy low snack.